Alright, folks. Welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill Shattered Memories. This is actually a bit of, uh, post-game commentary, as it were, because I've already played through this, and, uh, yeah. The software I use, Audacity, it stopped working, basically. Um, what I mean by that is I went through the entire thing, and then it says, Audacity has stopped working, so fuck you. And all that lovely commentary I did on the spot was gone. Vanished. It disappeared. So, yeah, apparently there are still temporary files of it, but I have no idea where they are on my computer. And even if I did know, I'd have to paste it all back together manually. And it's actually just going to be a hell of a lot easier if I just record this sort of post-commentary. So here I am. I'm a little shocked that there's, like, a train that's been, like, smashed to bits. The unfortunate thing about this is I don't actually get to hear what's going on in the game, so I'm going to basically be using the subtitles. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm sorry that this took forever to get out, but I've been busy, like, really busy, and I had a dentist appointment. No cavities. Uh, actually, I've never had a cavity in my entire life, which is... You know, not particularly interesting, but... Ooh! Just dropped something down there. Anyway, so I've been busy, and then, of course, I did this, and... Well, I have to re-record the commentary, basically, so that's annoying. So, yeah. Um, I probably could have gotten this out the day before you're going to be watching it, which is right now as I'm recording this, if that makes any sense to you. But, um... That would mean... Because what I do is I record, and then I upload the next day, and then I record again. Uh, but I won't be able... If I had been uploading it today, uh, I wouldn't be able to record tomorrow. So, I mean, you'd still have to wait that extra day anyway. So, you know. Mm. So, here I am. I'm limping. I'm done with all my introductions. Basically, I'm really sick of this <laughs> sort of part of the game, because of... It wasn't a particularly bad part, it was just all the problems I've had with it, basically. Um, yeah, so I cut out a bunch of the stuff where I did introductions and stuff like that. This was episode was actually quite a bit longer, but I basically just tore it apart. And uh, I am looking at my GPS a little bit more, because someone told me to do that. Um... Yeah, it really kind of sucks, though, because, um, there are monsters around here. See, the terrible thing is, is I can't hear the static. I don't hear anything on my end as I'm recording this. I'm just watching. But yeah, there are monsters that come, and they kill you, and, yeah, and you can't get out of your GPS fast enough, so it's kind of useless. Oh, and someone did finally tell me how to drop a flare. You hit the flare button, which is a C button, and then you hit the plus button. What the hell's up with that? Why don't you just hit the flare button again? That makes no sense. Anyway, so I'm running around this nightmare part. And oddly enough, the nightmare part isn't that hard. I have a couple, actually, I think, in this set. And I get through them pretty easily. Comparatively, of course. Hmm. Yeah, I'm dropping small objects in your way. Take that, bitch. So now I'm kind of lost. And, uh, I'm sure at moments I'll turn off my flashlight, and that's because it actually does, when monsters aren't actually chasing you, it's easier for them to, like, find you and chase you if your flashlight is on. So, like, I try and keep it on as much as I can, but when there aren't anyone chasing, there isn't anyone chasing me, and uh, I start to hear the static on my radio, phone, whatever, uh, I do turn my flashlight off. These guys are hugging me to death, and I use a flare. I climb the wall. I don't know if I found out how to drop the flare yet. There we go, I did. So, yeah. Here I am. I'm running through there. I'm looking around. Drop down here, and I realize I'm back where I started. Which is annoying. So, yep. Yeah, big circle. I'm trying to find out where I need to go. And... 
You know, this is probably the funniest commentary I ever recorded, but, you know, it's gone, so you're never gonna get to hear it. It's too bad. Anyway, so... Yeah, up there in the ER. Okay, finally. Flashlight's off now, so I can't even see anything. There we go. And... No, we're going straight on this time. Busting through this door. And... I think I'm going to go onto that train. Because I need to take a left. Here we go. Book it, Harry. Taking this door. Okay, what was throwing me back there? That's stupid. I mean, the door opened the other... Whatever. Alright, I think I'm gonna throw this, unless it's something you hide in. No. You know those hiding spots are really useless? I know I go into that in this commentary, which you're not gonna be able to hear. But yeah, I mean, they just basically run over to you and... Well, I mean, either they pull you out, or they basically just stay in that same area, and so, I mean, it doesn't gain you anything. They don't leave. Or, I mean, they might, but I mean, by that point, you've stayed in there like an hour. So, yeah. Booyah. I was a little disappointed I didn't get to go through the uh, wheelchair part again. Hang on, that sounds too much. Follow me. What happened to Liz's SUV? I don't know. So, Dahlia's there. Texting me. I mean, we're, uh... Oh, yeah, the other thing I talked about is that some people complained that I was calling her Delilah instead of Dahlia. Uh, I basically go back and forth. I mean, there I think I was calling her Dahlia. But I usually call her Delilah. I don't really care what I call her. You know who I'm talking about. I mean, and here is where I realized that someone told me to dial a special number, which is uh, the um, the Konami uh, support line, I believe. So I do that, and here's the telephone call. Alright, so, that was fun. Now we can get back on with the game. Yes, that's definitely a wall. Okay, let's go. And here we get to solve a wonderful little puzzle. I think that's the only puzzle I actually do solve in this part. Oh, and this part just pisses me off. Look, I'm trying to get the stupid thing to activate. And then, like, it doesn't until, like, I walk over to special time. This gets even worse later in the episode. There's another one where I walk over the spot you're supposed to go to, like, 50 times. And it just doesn't activate. Alright, so, that was a, uh, group, and, you know, the radio thing, I assume that the radio ought to say something to do with this, and I screw around with it for a while. Screwing around with the radio. I'm on the radio. Alright, so, here we go, we're listening to Alcamilla FM, or something like that. And he gives you a number you need to call, and then he tells you to make the last number, or the last digit of the call, uh, the number of the song you want to listen to. So, I think, well, that's great, I just need to dial the number. But then there's the problem of, 
what's the last digit gonna be? So, I pull out my phone. There we go. I dial 555-8811. And I call. And I'm thinking right now, what, do I just have to go through, like, every single one of them? Do I have to just call once, and it doesn't matter which number it is? And I'm confused, and I'm angry, and I cried a little, and I just start wandering around. And I continue to look around, and I see, hey, what's this? And then, we have all these songs, and I look them over. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. How are you supposed to make 10, like, one digit? I don't know. But whatever. Maybe it's just supposed to be 0. Because, you know, the last number is a 1. I don't know.